Welcome back guys, welcome to the channel. This is Joe with Logan Party 4 Runner. On today's video, we're gonna work on a rack for this thing. Uh, I've got sides ordered for the top, bottom, uh, and sides and everything, waiting for that to come in. Uh, my timber and axles have come in. Pretty excited about that. Still gonna hold off just a little bit on putting those on, but that should be real soon. But today, gonna get this rack built. So I've got some 14 gauge, inch and a half square tubing on the truck. We're going to get it out we're going to start cutting. All right, guys, before we dive in too far, I wanted to show you a couple of design considerations uh, for the rack and what I want it to accomplish. So this right here is our Tough Stuff Alpha uh, rooftop tent that we've had on the 4Runner for a little over a year now. This is the main thing that's going to be going on the rack. Um, the other thing that we're going to have, as you see these two, um, pieces of steel right here they are receivers for my 270 degree awning that's sitting right over there excuse all the mess but that's how that mounts uh, just slips in and uh, it's worked really well and I want to use the same uh, system so that it can still be interchangeable it can go on the trailer or it can go on the forerunner so I want my rack to be this long front to back and then the, I'm going to get more of these sleeves and I will weld them to the outside on both ends. Um, I want the rack to be a little bit wider than the tent so that you know the bars coming right along in here and hopefully my thought is I'll provide a little bit of protection for the tent for off-roading and you know going past some tight trees or brush or and in the event that we might lay it over or something, hopefully uh, with the bar sticking out a little further than the tent, it'll help protect it. And then this will also get mounted on there. I'm not quite sure how, uh, but somewhere along the way that's gonna get mounted as well. So um, that's what I got in mind. And now we'll start cutting and you'll see how, uh, how I plan to make all, all that happen. pieces and I'm putting them 20 inches from the outside to uh, the first edge both of them so I'm gonna get those welded up. So now that I have welded the uh, center pieces in the cross members, I've cut 12, I'm, I'm sorry, eight of these one foot pieces that are gonna be the supports of the rack holding it up off of the roof. And I cut a board right here to be the width that I want those to be um, spread at the bottom where they touch the roof of the trailer because I don't want it shrinking and doing weird stuff when I weld and, and either squeezing in or spreading out so I've got this uh, bar and wood in there to hopefully keep it the right uh, dimension on the top while I weld the bottom. I've also got this piece well uh, weighted down with some concrete blocks because 
like I've noticed, it seems like when you weld on one side, it tends to draw the metal up. So I'm trying really hard to keep this as uh, flat, straight, square as possible. So I've centered that up. I'm gonna attack it, weld it, and repeat four times here. All right, so that worked pretty good, um, keeping these things from spreading around. I got them all uh, welded on. I have cut eight of these. These are gonna be the basically the feet where it's gonna fit down over um, the top of the trailer. So I'm actually gonna go place these on the trailer and then set the rack on it, get it centered up, um, tack each one of these, then bring it back in here and weld all the way around them. And then uh, the rack's gonna be done other than um, painting. All right, so here it is on the uh, on the trailer. I actually put this on and welded the uh, the feet to it last night in the dark, which is why I didn't get any video of it. Um, but I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. All in all, I can't complain too bad. Um, so the next step is going to be to take it back down, clean up some of these welds that I did in the dark. I'm sure I need to redo a few of them and then I need to add the sleeves on the sides um, that will receive the awning just like what I showed you uh, that I have on the Forerunner. So I need to do that over here and then I need to cap these two ends and, uh, and then it should be ready to clean up and, and line. So almost done. Alright, well that's pretty much a wrap on the rack. I've got the uh, corners plugged. I've got the 2 inch receiver tube welded onto both ends to receive the awning. See the other cap in there. And uh, it's ready to be cleaned up and raptored. So that's going to do it uh, for the rack. And now we're going to get started on the fenders. All right, so here's the plan on the fenders. I cut a wooden template and screwed it to the floor and have cut all my pieces and I'm clamping it uh, to that template so I can weld um, the top and the sides and hopefully not get it to shrink and deform. Um, so we're gonna give that a shot. Hopefully that'll work. I'm gonna make four of these. Um, inside and out of each fender and then I'll have um, pieces in the middle uh, separating them holding them apart before I put this uh, metal on them but let's start with this and see if this works sticks out here and will get in the way of the, um, the flat piece that's going to go on the outside. Whereas this can go on there and it misses that so that the uh, cover can go on top of it. Okay, so the way I plan on mounting these fenders is with four of these stainless steel 5 16 bolts. They're going to go right through here and uh, right through the, the uh, trailer frame here and there. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill them now because I can get the drill in there and obviously they need to be straight. And if there was a plate here, I wouldn't be able to get in there to drill these. So I'm gonna drill the holes through the fenders first. Now I'm gonna take the fender out to the trailer um, and then go ahead and drill the holes using this as a template all the way through. 
and then I can put the bolt through from the bottom and bolt them on later once the fender's complete. All right, sorry for the extra noise. Mariah's uh, working on cleaning up the rack behind us. But now, see, I've got the fender on, and I've already drilled these two holes and got the bolts through them. Uh, I had to spread this just a little bit to get it to um, fit the way I wanted it. So I spread it and clamped it, and uh, now I'm gonna drill this side. All right, now that these have been uh, drilled and ready to bolt onto the trailer, it's time to skin them with this metal right here. So that's the next step. 